Happy New Year, everyone! I'm totally not named Dan, though you can call me that if you want. And, well, it's a new year, new rule set. I'm going to bring in my buddy here to have a look at that. Hello. Happy New Year, everyone. While I sip some really crappy lemonade and uh, fake absinthe. <laughs> none of the alcohol and, annoyingly, none of the flavour either. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't get ripped off and it's just water? <laughs> oh, I definitely got ripped off. It's not just water. It's water with a hint of fennel. Right. It's just fennel tea or what? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Minus the tea, of course. <laughs> now let's move on over to the actual rules. Ah, so you'll see my first live reaction to this because I haven't yes. seen this yet. So, to be clear, these are rule this is a rules document brought out specifically for an online webcam tournament. Or rather, a oh, series of online webcam tournaments happening every Wednesday. So it's not clear whether they will keep them for other stuff as well? It's not 100% clear, but the way they've <laughs> worded it, it seems as though some of the rules are specific to webcam tournaments, and they will say as much, and some of them aren't. Right. So, do we start? Yeah. Greetings, heroes. Here are the format rules and details regarding our inaugural webcam weekly. We have also updated our mulligan rules. These changes will be reflected in the rules in the coming weeks. So they're specifying there, these are the rules for the webcam tournaments, but the mulligan rules have also been updated, and that's not part of the webcam tournament specific thing. Right, that's very subtle and might not actually be what they wanted to say. Depending yeah, on yeah, there is also that. Wording. Jasko is not always the best at wording, are they? Yes, what communication? So the first event is on January the 5th. At 4 p.m. PST or 7 p.m. EST, right? There we go. So at midnight. Yeah, in middle the UK. of the night. Of yeah. Course. And if you want to win any prizes, you are going to have to play it at least two rounds. <laughs> so yeah, uh, when I finally get hold of some cards, expect me to be up till 2 a.m. God damn it. Yeah, I mean, they, they obviously don't care about a British audience. Yeah, but let's see what they're actually doing rules wise. So format of Swiss rounds with no playoffs. Okay. Constructed, yeah, best two out of three. All fairly normal. Rounds will be up to five, depending on attendance. 50-minute rounds, so the usual for online tournaments. Sometimes tournaments go to an hour, but 50 is fairly normal. And then let's see, if you're completely undefeated, you'll earn additional prizing. And that will include a Gen Con mat. Ooh, ooh. Let me grab my Gen Con mat real quick. Okay, we can do away with the hat, because that wasn't helping anything. Definitely doesn't okay, keep okay. the headphones on my head very well. No, the continuity. Don't worry, that'll be in the continuity. <laughs> okay. But there we go. There is my Ochako mat. But Ooh, it's an upside down, down mat. Oh, damn it. <laughs> it's the best kind of mat. There you go. Nice. Is that the mat they're giving away? <laughs> they're giving away... One of, I think it's eight different mats, including this one. Wait, players who are undefeated, does that mean they haven't lost a single match? Yeah, I don't believe it's game, I believe it is just match, but even so. That's a lot of like... not losing. Yeah. Basically, it's supposed to be time. the player who comes first would get these, but in the case that there are multiple people tied for first, I'll give it to all of them, I think is what they're trying to say. It's not even saying what victory packs are. That's listed somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it's chess code, of course. I'm they finding it really hard to keep track of what promo packs contain what promo cards. But whatever they are, we will have seen the cards. But do you still have the promo cards on the Jasko website? Do they still have them there? They might have them on the My Hero website. Oh, God, no. Even more decentralization. <laughs> Jasko, what Link do you to do? that in the description. <laughs> right. So... All players must be active in the tournament through round two in order to be eligible for participation prizing. Yep, we said that already. All players are expected sense. to know the contents of their decks and reasonably know how they interact with each other and with other cards. As a result, like all players are expected to play at a reasonable pace. Yeah, I get that this is a thing that's going to upset you because you've had problems knowing the entire card pool at tournaments online before. But the slight difference here is that this is my hero format, so it's entirely reasonable to expect people to have some understanding of one set of cards. 
Yeah, true, fair enough. But yeah, I'm definitely not spending the time just to be prepared for a tournament like that, seriously. Fair enough. I mean, the only reason I am is because part of the entry is a booster pack. You get shipped to you, and I'm like, yeah, make <laughs> Jasco send me one booster pack from the US before nice. release date. I'm going to be happy about $80 shipping, huh? Hey, 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 I'm not paying shipping. It's my free entry prize. <laughs> that's not how they used to do it I have no idea to be honest I had to pay shipping for prizes in the past when I had the retro tournaments oh that's obnoxious you didn't? Um, I honestly don't remember it's been a while fair enough yeah. so what else we got all cards must be kept in camera view at all times failure to do so may result in a game loss yep Jesus yeah it's harsh but at the same time that is fairly standard for a webcam tournament because if your cards go out of view with a camera, then you could be doing anything with them. Yeah. So true. I've got the exact same things from Digimon. Fair and enough. really, it just depends how thoroughly they enforce them, which depends mm. as much on the people playing as on the actual organization. Judges. And to judges. Well, judges are the organization. And judges Fair can't enough. really be in every game all the time. So mm. it depends on when people call them in and stuff. Mm. Then your hands should generally be kept in view of camera whenever possible. If one or more leaves camera view, the hand should be shown to the camera palm up before touching any of the cards to ensure that the hand is empty and you're not bringing outside stuff into the match. This seems cheesable, but okay. Possibly, I'm not sure, but I like that personally because that's a bit less harsh than Digimon, which is just, yeah, your hand's not allowed to leave camera view ever. So... <laughs> the Digimon would be right. wake up at 6.30 in the morning, have something to eat, lay out everything so that I could just go and just grab my water bottle just on the edge of camera any time I needed a drink. Bloody hell. And you that need, sort like, of thing. water bottle or something. If I ever felt like sneezing, I'd have to grab some tissues just on the edge of camera and so on and so <laughs> forth. And if, you, if you sneeze into the camera, are you disqualified? If you obscure the camera with your sneeze, then yes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like webcam play, but all these no. rules so far seem very reasonable for webcam play and a bit more lenient than what I've been used to even in past webcam tournaments. I guess so. And by other organizations, so. What else we got? It is the player's responsibility to ensure they're playing with stable enough interconnect oh, internet come on. connection. No, no, no. C come on, you can't just... You don't have control yeah. over how stable your internet connection is. To a degree, you do, but only to a degree. And there's also, nothing stopping like... my internet provider just going, nope, you've got no internet today on the day without telling anyone. They have exactly. done that to me in the past. Not in card game events, but in general. In my experience, most of the time, it's not your fault for not having good internet. <laughs> and yeah, if you, if you have a single disconnection during a match, that should not be a game loss. That should be a make sure things return exactly as they were. But then again, how do you keep track of the hand during that? Yeah. It's just a bad time regardless. I don't think there's any way around that ruling, but it's not a what fun am, You know ruling. what I'm getting for this? What? Just don't do webcam games. <laughs> well, that's my understanding of things, yeah. That's mm. how I've always considered it, is tabletop simulator is far, far better. Yeah. But the difference here is that you have to have the cards to play. Of course. Which, you know... I understand that. That's sort of reasonable from a marketing standpoint. And I'd be okay I mean, with that if it didn't also mean it was basically impossible to play in official tournaments and get the tournament rewards if you're in the UK. Yeah, that's surprising. Right, what well, we got beyond that. Right, so they're just defining who player one and player two are. <laughs> I think on. we know that. <laughs> this is not the place to do that, seriously. <laughs> Neither player may attack on their first turn. Right, yeah, that's a change from... That's a change, and that back. makes Kirishima a lot less broken. Because now he can't play mm. one four difficulty attack and instantly have two foundations on his first turn. <laughs> that's dodgy, If yeah. he goes second. Then we got the mulligan updates. Oh. Player one must mulligan their whole hand, but may mulligan up to two times. So this was sort of in effect in standard anyway, but they'd not stated that up to two times part. Yeah, But Seems yeah, odd. Player one doesn't get the partial mulligan, but does get two mulligans. Whereas player two gets the partial mulligan, they can choose any number of cards to mulligan, but can only mulligan once. That's so specific. Yeah, it's really weirdly specific that there are completely different rules for the two different players. <laughs> Is there some deep reason 
that's not immediately obvious or is it just random it's just to give player two a better hand but the fact that they can't mulligan a second time i mean i guess you get such a good hand after the partial mulligan anyway that you don't need to mulligan a second time but mm. god that's so specific as you say <laughs> and especially as why does player one get a mulligan twice now player one has never been able to mulligan twice before <laughs> I mean, I've had tournament matches where that would have been handy, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. Drawing, like. I've played other card games that have that, and it's great, but it's never been a Universus thing. Yeah, odd. And then, on their first turn only, player two may draw one extra card during the draw step, completely An ignoring their hand size as written on their character's card. What the egg? Yeah, yeah, this is Tim Keefe tournament rules. That's not what should ever be in an official tournament, just ignoring the hand size of your character for one turn. What the so hell, did Jasko? To, didn't they want to make the game simpler for the My Hero stuff? Yeah, and yet they're doing this, which completely... Just stacking so many rules that are yeah. not written anywhere and you just need to remember? Yeah, stacking so many weird, unwritten mulligan and first turn rules. Hmm. It is optional to draw that extra <laughs> card, though, so you can forget to do it if you want. Right. Doesn't that make All Might more broken? Like the original? No, because he can't attack on the first turn. I don't know, mm. this is weird. This is a really odd set of rules that just ignore what's written on cards and require Oof. you to remember different things for different players. And frankly, I have enough trouble remembering the mulligan rules for all the different card games I play anyway. Yeah. I don't need two we... different mulligan rules in Universus. What are and we then the next standard to mulligan check? rules, which are different as well, maybe? I mean, seven check I'd be fine with, but imagine if only player two could check sevens. <laughs> Actually, no, no, we've got to make up for the player two advantage. We've got to make it so that player one is the only one who oh. can check sevens. <laughs> imagine they just do knock-on effects for player one, player two, beyond the first two <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Runs. Or imagine if they just say, right, this card checks your hand size. <laughs> 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 this yeah, is absurd. <laughs> so then we've got end of round procedures. Player two well, always gets the last is, turn. What is a round? Is, is that a game? A round is two out of three. It's a match. But that's not how it works in fighting games. Like, no, no, it's not how it works in fighting games. <laughs> that's important naming choices. But yeah, player two always gets the last turn. If time's called on player one's turn, they finish theirs, and then player two gets a turn. If time's called on player two's turn, only player two gets to finish. Oh, interesting. This has always been the case in standard and retro tournaments, and it's annoying if you're player one, but that's about it. I did lose Bad out enough. on top eight once because of this, but at the same uh, time, right, yeah. I don't really see it as a problem. I mean, every player gets the same number of turns, then. Yeah, yeah. It is reasonable. I mean, you might want to change if you want to go first or second, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it definitely may change the first, second decision once you know about that strategy, rule but then you've got to know about going to time and when do you ever know when the game's going to go to time ahead of time unless you're actively slow I mean, I playing could, i could just imagine having a deck that's like really defensive and setting up stuff and then just <laughs> oh, planning to kill on the last turn <laughs> oh are we talking about my uh, banned guild deck that i borrowed off somebody and they didn't have the kill card so i just went right i'm just playing all the life gain i guess <laughs> opponents come at me you won't do anything <laughs> yeah except we were finished at the end <laughs> and so i consistently didn't lose but that was about it <laughs> <laughs> you had so many draws i guess yeah so many draws i mean it could be reasonable right you could imagine a deck that just really does a last turn kill yeah yeah but usually in that sort of situation you want to be just going foundation 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 done your other turns so it's not going to go yeah it's not going to eat up too much time still sometimes it might but usually it won't you can stall <laughs> until the last turn yeah yeah that's when you're getting into <laughs> slow play problems that shouldn't be allowed <laughs> oh right yeah <laughs> it does go against the rules though because that's specifically about slow play because of not knowing your cards you specifically know what your cards do you just choose yeah to do the way these them. rules are worded <laughs> yes you are correct <laughs> player with the most game wins when the game ends in a draw will be considered the round winner unless of course there is no player with the most game wins within the round in which case it will be just a draw for the round which you know that's how tying a round works wait they're not they're not saying there are only three games in a round no they said they're two out of three right up at the top okay good thing there we go best two out of three I thought, matches I thought, I thought, I thought. 
Okay, okay, good. Each Matches. round is one best two out of three match. No, they haven't no. stated that bit. <laughs> No, <laughs> and, and then, well, they call them differently down there. What, what's yeah. this all about? Yeah, Jasco wordings. Not not only are they using the words the wrong way around, they're also changing what words they use <laughs> midway through the. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, card legality. Cards numbered one to one eight two from series one set, including the booster boxes and rival decks and go beyond are allowed. So I don't remember how go beyond is listed, but this is basically just the main set is allowed. Quality information that should probably be on their website. Yeah. And then we've got cards numbered MHA01Q1 through to MHA01Q5 are allowed. Quirk packs. Are those the DLCs? No, no, quirk packs aren't DLCs. Quirk packs, quirk packs are the bonus packs that you get when you buy a booster box. Oh. They're basically oh. randomized box toppers that you get two of right. in each box. And there's five box toppers, I guess? Yeah. Then cards numbered MHA01PU1 through to PU12, <sighs> which just sounds stinky. <laughs> <laughs> From the Series 1 Plus Ultra um, packs. And Plus Ultra not packs. Not stinky as PU2. <laughs> So I think plus ultra packs are the tournament reward packs. Hey, uh, what are they? They're doing? allowed in the tournaments. <laughs> but there hasn't been a tournament yet. I guess a later tournament. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be allowed to use them in the tournament anyway, though, if you've somehow been involved in a locals tournament or something. Oh wow! <laughs> and then special rules oh, for God, webcam God, play. Due to the mm -hmm. complexity of playing MHA CCG via webcam, certain decisions had to be made regarding certain card effects that may not be able to resolve properly when playing remotely. Oh god. Did they add Enter the Dungeon from Super Border Magic into the game or what? No, no, we're not getting Magic the Gathering nonsense. <laughs> we're not going that far. <laughs> As a result, instead of banning cards from being eligible for webcam events, we have decided to make some slight changes to such effects strictly for webcam events. Oh wow. So this is webcam specific errata. So Jiro, one of her enhances, says once per turn, look at the top two cards of both players' decks, you may replace them in any order. But if you're playing on webcam, instead it says reveal the top two cards of both players' decks. Why? Because it's a lot easier to reveal the cards than to show the cards to one player and then do actions to those cards oh, because, without looking right, at them. Oh, you've got to have them in the camera still. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I get you. Your hands too, yeah. Okay. So that's what that's about. And then plug-in has a very similar effect that only looks at one card. Fair enough. And yeah, I'll put those cards up on screen. But basically, they're just taking the hidden information out of it. Which... I know that makes sense, yeah. You know, I've played webcam games of this once or twice against Jiro. Personally, I didn't feel it was a problem, but I can see how it might be a bit complicated to manage, certainly to judge, because you not looking at your own cards when you reveal them to the opponent is kind of an honor system thing, not a mm. thing that can properly be enforced. But it does mean that the hidden information element, the mind games of it are lost, which personally I think is quite sad, because that's part of the fun of playing against Jiro. Oh, fair enough, yeah. And then we have a link here to sign up, which I'll leave in the description. And then we just have a picture of the mats, which it turns out is only six. It's not quite as many yeah. as I thought it was. They look nice, though. Yeah. Yeah, they're nice mats. And the one I bought, it cost me like 35 quid or something off Canadian eBay. Turns out they're going mm. for a lot, lot more now. Oh, wow. <laughs> they're well into triple figures because they're not very easy to get hold of. Blimey. So, just got us like doing that, don't they? <laughs> Well, this particular one, it's apparently not Jasco's fault. Apparently there was some miscommunication where... <laughs> Jasco did some miscommunication. Okay, I'm okay the miscommunication might be Jasco's fault. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently what happened was they had them printed up for Gen Con and thought they had the go-ahead to sell them, but apparently they only had the go-ahead to give them away. So oh. stuff happened. They eventually did get the go-ahead to sell them for that event and that event specifically. And basically they've been unable to do anything with them since. <laughs> Maybe and, do the same like with the demo decks. They just shipped them with random orders, like billions yeah, of them. Yeah, this is the same sort of thing, but they're using it as a tournament reward instead. But we'll see. Anyway, yeah, I... I was hoping we'd be a bit more positive about these rules changes, but they are a mess as far as I'm concerned. Player 1 and Player 2 should not be treated so vastly differently in terms of the rules. Yeah, no, it goes against what the, they're trying to establish with the My Hero yeah. game, I feel like. And numbers on the cards should be respected. They shouldn't be just ignored for a turn for funsies. Yeah, yeah. 
And the fact that it's optional to draw that extra card means if you haven't read this specific post from Facebook, <laughs> then you get screwed out of that going second bonus. I mean, some people don't have Facebook out of, I think, pretty valid reasons. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. So then where are they going to get the information? Right. I'm not particularly happy with this, but then again, I'm not particularly happy with the idea of them giving tournament-specific promos out to tournaments that can only be accessed by Americans, so... I was mm. never going to be particularly happy with this event. By American Facebook users, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm pretty sure you can get the link to the event from their uh, Discord server and stuff. Yeah, but because you didn't read the rules, you lose every game because some judge yeah. calls you yeah. out for something. <laughs> of course, you'll get that bit. But you will at least be able to participate in the event and therefore get the entry rewards. <laughs> well, you don't need to be American to participate in the event either. Yes, you do, because you need to actually have the cards. Which means oh, you yeah. either have to be American or you have to have imported a whole bunch. Do you have some? Are you going to join the tournament? Or? I don't have any yet. I know a guy, though. And in oh. about two weeks, I should have some. Wait, that's after the tournament. Yes, but it's a weekly thing. So yeah, if you're hoping to see me in the next one, anyone, I'm sorry, I won't be there. But in the future, you'll be able to play against me in these online tournaments. And I will be absolutely terrible because I'll have had far too little sleep. <laughs> Blimey, and then we're going on for five hours too, right? See you then, everyone. See ya.